I don't know if I can, if you can see this or not, but uh, I'm trying to explain a little bit of my process here. This is the same painting that you saw the other day on my Facebook page as the Indian, the boy, baby, and a couple of tents. I have totally changed this up. That's why you haven't seen any postings. My work is really about trying to find a visual product of painting or creation that I haven't expressed before, a way that I haven't expressed it, using the tools that I've acquired over years. So I'm really happy with the atmospheric quality of this image so far. And uh, just need to define it um, and start finishing it up. Uh, so I, I really just sand it over. I, I literally, I use 80 grit sandpaper and I just will sand over the whole thing. I will uh, work wet on wet, sand through the wet. I use chisels to tear it up. Uh, uh, I really don't I'm looking for the surprises that it presents, I guess is a, is, is a good way of putting it. And then trying to follow that inspiration that I'm seeing and uh, in order to create something that is, uh, is, uh, is maybe different from what I've done before and what I'm seeing out there. Um, so when I finished all this up, I saw this beautiful area over here that kind of looked like it had a little bit of pink in it, so uh, that's what I'm going to do is to try to just hint at some pink back on this side. I, I, you see I'm painting with a glove. I, I don't care what I'm painting with. I don't care if it's a, a, a glove, a paintbrush, a scraper, it's just, just anything, just to try to... Uh, put pigment onto, onto my surface here. And uh, so I don't restrict myself to the tools, methods, anything that is what we would call traditional. I'm uh, just, just wanting to get it on here in, in a in my case, a very atmospheric kind of, a, of an execution. Um, so I'm hoping that that shows up on the, um, on the video here. So as an example, if, uh, if I put something on there and it, uh, I want to lighten it back up, or tear it back down, or let some of the transparencies underneath it show through, I'll come back in with sandpaper and um, kind of destroy the, stro the strokes or the marks, and then just kind of try to find them again or, or uh, hint at their existence. So if I get this little pink right here, I can see that there's a little blue-green up in here, and maybe what I do is, uh, is I see that and I say, well, maybe I can also use a little bit of that information or, uh, to put in some blue right above that. So my, my work is really not pre-planned. It's what I see and I react to the indications or the strokes, the colors, the values, the textures that uh, lie next to each other. So I'm playing off one shape, one value area, one, one whatever to the next. 
So when I move across here, I know that the tent has to be, it has to be darker at the top because that's uh, where the smoke would accumulate in these tents and it would char the top part of these teepees. So I just want to try to, and I don't want it to be harsh. I don't want it to be a really harsh color. Uh, or what I mean by that is uh, the contrast too, too, too heavy. And uh, so I just mix up something and then I'll, what I call, try to sneak up on that shape and kind of, it's kind of a, I'm trying to feel it out a little bit, I guess is the way it is, uh, putting it is, how, how dark does it need to be? Is it, is it too dark for the area? Is it, uh, it still needs to have that atmospheric kind of a look to it. Uh, the poles are coming out through the top of that, and right now I'm not interested in trying to capture the poles. That, I, I'm not. I will move through a painting and build up the values, the shapes in there, in no particular order. In no particular order. It's just uh, over here's another tent. It has the same kind of a thing that's going on over here. That has a nice, you can't see it probably, but it has a nice transparent look to it from, and so it's not opaque, and I like that. Beautiful little note right in there. I'm constantly watching for these little opportunities that to present themselves. Beautiful little things going on in here. So you can see that my strokes are not always, they're not always opaque, they're not always created by one mark. Uh, another beautiful little mark in here. Um, and just by slowly working this whole project, working the whole thing, right underneath here is, a, is the dark edge that goes inside of the tent. Just using a piece of rubber here to do this. If you're wondering. Now the baby's going to be right here. This little dark shape above that head. So I'm in I'm never in a hurry to finish a piece of or one of my paintings. It's not about the speed of the painting, and I'm a, I'm a, I consider myself a relatively fast painter. It's about the final execution. It's about the, the look and the relationships of the colors and the values and the shapes, uh, how they work with, with each other and, and everything like that. So uh, if, I just, if I'm patient, if I'm just patient, uh, when the when the painting is done, I'll get the, kind of the product out of it that I'm, I'm really looking for. I, I call it a product. I forgive me for that. It's a it's a painting, and I'm just trying to ease my way through it uh, slowly. And uh, so that each piece is unique in itself. It is different than maybe what I have painted before. And, uh, but uh, that's, that's really what I love about, about what I'm doing is my work is that I, I wind up with pieces that are just, I don't know, that just, that I'm just really happy with. And I, I will not put anything out there or not, I will not show you something that or I will not create something that, well, that I don't feel as if I, I've given it my best effort. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, sign off and, and I'll just show you some of the, uh, the, the results as uh, I guess.
guessing they get through them. If you like my work and you want to acquire it, the only place to be able to do that is through my website. I don't show any galleries anymore. I left the gallery system years ago. People quite often ask me how do they how do they get my work? How do they purchase it? Is it available to purchase? And the answer, of course, is yes. Um, but you have to go to my website in order to be able to uh, to get access to it. So maybe that uh, answers some of the questions for some, for, for some of you. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you have questions about uh, anything that I'm doing, uh, send me a message. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, anyway, thanks for watching.